Hi everyone, welcome to day 30 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the data analyst interview questions. So let's see the question. So the question is for each week find the total number of orders including only the orders that are from the first quarter of 2023. The output should contain week and the quantity. So let's see the data. So the data we have which is order ID and order date and quantity. So basically we need to create a week group and based on the week group we need to see basically how many quantity we have done in each week but we need to filter the data only for 2023. So let's just write down the approach to solve this question. So we need to basically find each week and their total quantity sold right. So basically we need to find a week and basically week now from this order date okay and then we can basically uh, find basically sum of the quantity and last we can do a group by group by the week basically that we will basically create by using this order date and then we will need to filter the data only for first quarter of 2023 then where order date right on a quarter right quarter 2023 let's start solving this question so first i need basically the week number so we can create a basically week column using this order date i can use the extract functions here now if we have my sql then that does going to be a different functions i'm going to basically write it write that as well so for postgres sql this is the functions extract now i'm going to basically say week from this order date okay order date and i'm going to save it as week now I'll just do a sum of quantity because I need to see each week and the total quantity is sold. So I'm going to say sum of quantity, which is this column, right? And I'm going to call at like total quantity sold. Okay. Now as I want to basically see each week and their total quantity so that means I need to do a group by by this first categorical column, which is week, right? So I can go ahead and say group by this week. Okay. Now this is almost a solve i mean this has almost solved our problem now if you're using mysql you can simply use something called week and inside basically this a uh, week you can just type your basically this column which is ordered date okay and you can save it as like as week. okay now you can just give a comma and then you can basically basically write this as uh, sum of the quantity sold right so now if we run this query we will see each week and their total quantity sold okay now we have multiple week you can see week number 32 5 20 12. So basically we need this data only for the first quarter of 2023. So we can use a where filter to basically extract out the data only for the first quarter, right? So we can go ahead and say where and we can same use the extract function this time. But this time I'm going to basically extract the year, okay, year from order date and I'm going to say it's like 2023. So I'm saying that the year has to be 2023 and I will add one more condition so that's going to be end and then I'm again going to say extract. Okay. Now this time I'm going to extract the quarter from this basically order date. Okay, quarter. Basically, this is going to basically give me the first quarter, and this is going to give me basically this other year, which is 2023, right? And then I'm comparing and saying that okay, select all the data which has the year 2023 and the quarter one. Now I can run this query. This is going to basically solve our questions. Now I can now I can see the problem is solved. We have the week number up to 12 week, which is for three months, and their quantity sold for each week. Now I have a quick task for you. So the task is that find each quarter and their total quantity sale. Now you can write down your approach in the comment box and if you have any doubt anything you can just let me know in the comment box. You can find this data in the video descriptions and I will be adding my github link. Download the data, solve these questions and write down your approach in the comment box. I will see you in the next video. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye.